it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. They are drinking cups of coffee. B. He is pointing at some information. C. The man is writing something on the document. D. All of the women are looking at the man. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. He is mixing the snow. B. He is making snow for skiing. C. He is clearing some snow with a snowblower. D. He is cleaning the road with a broom. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The cars are being transported in a truck. B. The cars are being fixed. C. There are many people in the cars. D. There are cars on the top level of the truck. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. She is pumping gas into the car. B. She is paying for the gas. C. She is changing the oil in her car. D. She is putting air into her tires. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. They are fixing the computer. B. They are pointing at the computer screen. C. They are both holding documents. D. They are pointing at each other. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. She is wearing long pants. B. She is paying the bill. C. Her reflection is in the mirror. D. She is looking at her reflection. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Who are you going to send on the business trip? A. I've picked Susan in accounting. B. It was a very rewarding trip. C. At the start of next year. Number eight. Why don't we go for a bike ride tomorrow? A. I gave Mr. Holland a ride to the airport. B. That sounds like fun. C. It was 3:30 p.m. Number nine. Did Monica answer the phone or was she away from the office? A. I'll mark it on the calendar at the office. B. Please leave a message. C. She was meeting her client at that time. Number ten. Which theater is the movie showing at? A. He's a famous actor. B. Well, I'll have to check. C. She's over there. Number eleven. Why is there a moving truck parked outside? A. We're removing coffee stains. B. Into a bigger office. 
C. Because new neighbors are moving in. Number 12. What should I bring on the camping trip? A. You'll need hiking boots. B. He's on a business trip with his colleague. C. Yes, we should. Number 13. You will receive five days off next month. A. I had a great time at the resort. B. I turned the equipment off. C. Will it be paid or unpaid? Number 14. Did Olivia already return the rental car? A. Yes, just this morning. B. There are several different models. C. I'm ready to order now. Number 15. Isn't this area off limits to motor vehicles? A. It's 50% off today. B. There is a walking path only. C. Actually, it's a stolen vehicle. Number 16. I'd recommend using the stairs today. A. Can you tell me why? B. No, I didn't stare straight into the camera. C. I usually use the copy machine at the corner. Number 17. When will I receive this month's paycheck? A. The conference will be held next month. B. Before March 3rd. C. In the bottom drawer. Number 18. Do we have enough gas to get to the airport? A. Who arrived at the airport yesterday? B. We don't have to worry about it. C. She's the chief flight attendant. Number 19. Why hasn't the travel itinerary been sent out yet? A. At Terminal 6. B. He was a travel agent. C. We haven't decided on the dates. Number 20. Who forgot to turn off the lights last night? A. We were waiting at the traffic lights. B. I'm guessing it was John. C. Kelly will take a day off tomorrow. Number 21. We are offering a promotional deal at the moment. A. Congratulations on your promotion. B. What benefit can I get? C. Jenny will deal with the complaint. Number 22. I can borrow your book for a few days, can't I? A. A few co-workers. B. Of course, it's no trouble at all. C. They book tickets in advance. Number 23. Didn't your team improve your sales figures compared to last month? A. Yes, the budget proposal is due this Friday. B. Actually, they were about the same. C. I couldn't figure out how to use this product. Number 24. How can I find her contact information? A. We negotiated a contract. B. By Wednesday at the latest. C. Check the client list. Number 25. Where is the coffee shop you recommended? A. I usually wear a suit. 
B. It's across from the post office. C. It's three o'clock sharp. Number twenty six. Would you like to drive instead of me? A. It looks like he missed the bus. B. Yes, I'll call right now. C. Sorry, I can't. I forgot my glasses. Number twenty seven. Did you say you were stopping by today or tomorrow? A. Actually, I said this weekend. B. A nice day for a walk. C. Yeah, I thought so too. Number twenty-eight. Food will be catered for tonight's party, won't it? A. It was my birthday party. B. It's scheduled to arrive at six o'clock. C. No, he isn't registered here. Number twenty-nine. Isn't Mr. Roland away from the office this week? A. Yes, he comes back next Monday. B. This product will be released next week. C. Don't throw the receipt away. Number thirty. I fixed the printer in the break room this morning. A. You're welcome. B. Was it out of order? C. I was in the meeting room. Number thirty-one. What did the tennis instructor say? A. She said to practice more. B. Have you decided on a date? C. I told you so. Part three. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mark. This is Julie in accounting. Our printer has broken down again, and nobody in our department knows how to fix it. Could you stop by and give us a hand? I wish I could help, but I have a meeting with an important client in half an hour. I have to be fully prepared when he arrives. I understand. I'll try to find an instruction manual. I hope it will help me figure out what exactly is wrong. All right. I'll check on you right after the meeting. Number thirty-two. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number thirty-three. Why is the man unable to help? Number thirty-four. What will the woman do next? Questions thirty-five through thirty-seven refer to the following conversation. Mr. Hawk, I just looked over our projected sales for this month, and it looks like our current inventory of televisions won't be enough to meet demand. Do you think so? But I thought we increased our stock this month compared to last. How are we already running out? Well, all of the advertisements we placed seem to be having the intended effect. Thanks to the promotional sale this month, we are selling a lot more televisions than usual. Okay, if anyone tries to buy a television that is out of stock, tell them that they can still get the same promotional deal next month as well. Number thirty-five. What problem does the woman mention? Number thirty-six. 
What does the woman say about this month's sales figures? Number 37. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Miss Simpson, can you tell me why you applied to work at our store? Judging from your resume, it appears you have no retail experience. What do you think makes you qualify for selling apparel? You're right. I previously worked as a secretary at a hospital. At that time, I learned that I really enjoy working with people, so I thought working in retail would be a good fit for me. Yes, that is very important. Here at our store, we expect all employees to be kind and helpful with each and every customer. Next, I'd like to ask about your availability during the week. Number 38. Where most likely does the man work? Number 39. Why does the woman think she is qualified for the job? Number 40. What will the speakers discuss next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Susie Smith calling for Dan Harmon. I work at Danny Sweets. I'm calling to let you know that the wedding cake you ordered is ready to be picked up at any time. Oh, thanks for calling. I'm extremely busy making other preparations for the wedding tomorrow and won't have time to stop by. Can you deliver the cake instead? I'm sorry, but we don't offer any delivery service. However, if you give us a name in advance, you could have someone else pick it up for you. Okay. I'll try to find someone to do that for me. I'll call back later. Number 41. Where most likely does the woman work? Number 42. Why is the man unable to visit the woman's workplace? Number 43. What information will the man probably provide? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I have noticed that a lot of our customers are from all over the world. I think it's because we provide exotic and delicious food and we are near very popular tourist attractions. You're right. I have noticed that too. I was thinking maybe it would be very helpful if some of our servers could speak other languages fluently. That would make things much more comfortable for our customers. Actually, I have already scheduled two interviews next week with potential employees. I'm going to interview a woman who can speak Japanese and a man who can speak Spanish. Number 44. Where most likely do the speakers work? Number 45. What does the man recommend doing? Number 46. What has the woman done? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Lindy. Jessica just left to go home because she had a bad headache. I told her to take the day off tomorrow as well to go to the hospital. Do you think you could come in to fill in for her tomorrow morning? Oh, I'm really sorry, but tomorrow I have to attend a close friend's wedding. However, I'll call around to see if any other employee is available to work tomorrow in place of Jessica. Okay, thanks. Just let me know immediately if you find somebody. Number 47. Why did Jessica leave work early? Number 48. What does the man ask the woman to do?
Number 49. What will the woman do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Wilmore Appliance Customer Service, how can I help you? Hi, I'm having problems with the freezer part of my fridge. The temperature never goes below 5 degrees Celsius even when I set it below freezing. Do you know the model number? Let me check. It's the Azura 783XB model. Oh, I'm sorry, but we no longer make that model, so I can't help you over the phone. That's going to be a problem. I purchased several gallons of ice cream for a party tomorrow. I'm so sorry. I'll send a technician over as soon as possible so that the problem is looked at. Will anyone be home at around 5 p.m. tonight? Yes, I'll be here. Good. Our technician will be there between 5 and 6 tonight. Number 50. What problem does the man mention? Number 51. What does the woman mention about the fridge? Number 52. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi Angela, I just got an email from UHP Incorporated. They are asking about installing the plumbing systems in their new offices. They want to know when we will begin. I attended to call them today, but I'm waiting for a call from some workers. They are at a building site now testing the ground. It seems as though there may be some problems installing the pipes underground. We may need to dig deeper than we expected. I will let them know by this afternoon. I see. I'll call UHP and let them know the situation. They didn't sound like they were angry. They were just curious to know what was going on. Let me know when you hear back from the workers. Number 53. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 54. What does the woman mean when she says, I attended to call them today. Number 55. What is the problem? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Okay, sir, your total bill comes to $1,000. Would you like to pay with cash or card? $1,000? Are you serious? Yes, sir. You ordered a lot of room service over the last few days and spend a lot of money at the downstairs bar and restaurant. You stayed in room 208, didn't you? No, I was in room 207. I think you've made a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I will give you a 10% discount next time you stay with us. I apologize for the confusion. Number 56. What does the man mean when he says, Are you serious? Number 57. What does the woman want to know? Number 58. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi. Can I please talk to Robert Porter? It's regarding the repairs to the office equipment at Baker and McKenzie. He is the head engineer, right? Yes. May I ask who is calling? This is Susan Sherman. I'm the maintenance manager at Baker and McKenzie. Some of our equipment is missing and I'd like to know where it is and when we will get it back. Okay. Wait a moment. I will try to put you through to Robert. Please hold the line. Thank you. Hello, Susan? Hi, Robert. I'm calling in regards to the missing office equipment you repaired at Baker and McKenzie yesterday. Where is it and when will we get it back? 
Oh, I left a note with your receptionist. I told her we needed to take it away to our workshop for special repairs. We should have it ready by the end of the week. Number fifty-nine. What is Robert Porter's position? Number sixty. What problem does Susan Sherman describe? Number sixty-one. Why did Robert take the equipment away? The equipment away. Questions sixty-two through sixty-four refer to the following conversation and voucher. Okay, your total bill is seventy-five dollars. Did you enjoy your food tonight? Yes, it was delicious. Oh, I have a voucher here. Let me find it. Here you go. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can use this. Oh, I see the problem. Never mind. Can we sit back down and have some drinks so I can use the voucher? Certainly. I will find a table for you now. Number sixty-two. Where most likely are the speakers? Number sixty-three. Look at the graphic. Why is the voucher invalid? Number sixty-four. What does the man ask the woman? Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to the following conversation and picture. I apologize for being late to work. The parking lot on Swan Street was closed for some reason. I think they are moving to another location. I understand. Most of the staff were late because of this issue. Where did you find a parking space on Franklin Avenue? Yeah, there was some parking on Franklin Avenue, so I parked there. The sign on Swan Street said I could not park there after nine o'clock in the morning. That's a good idea. Franklin Avenue has parking until ten o'clock. I suggest you take the bus tomorrow. It took me thirty minutes to walk to the office from Franklin Avenue. Number sixty-five. According to the man, why are people arriving late to work? Number sixty-six. Look at the graphic. Where is the sign most likely located? Number sixty-seven. What does the woman recommend to the man? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation and package list. Hello, this is Will's Hi-Fi. Margaret speaking. How can I help you today? Hi, I bought a laptop package from you today. It was supposed to have a free gift, but it wasn't in the bag. Oh, is this Graham? I served you today. I'm sorry that we left out the free gift. Yes, this is Graham. Do I need to come and pick up the gift? No, we can send it to you by post. I will have the delivery driver drop it off tomorrow. Can you give me your address? Oh, that's great. My address is one thousand nine hundred Forest Street, Westhampton. Number sixty-eight. Where does the woman most likely work? Number sixty-nine. Look at the graphic. What is the man missing? Number seventy. What does the woman offer to do? Part four. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question. And mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. 
The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following radio advertisement. Are you feeling down this fall season? Then come down to Kim's Taekwondo Center and energize yourself with the healthy and exciting sport of Taekwondo. We are offering a special discounted membership to those with no prior experience. So even if it's your first time, don't hesitate. Come sign up today. We are located on Main Street. You can also come by bus by getting off at the bus stop near Geller Bank. Now is the time to refresh yourself with Taekwondo. Number 71. What is the advertisement about? Number 72. Who is the special offer directed at? Number 73. What does the speaker say about the advertised location? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to the Museum of Electronics. Here you can see some of the earliest televisions, radios, and telephones. This month we have a special exhibition that focuses on radar and other technologies developed during World War II. George Butler, an expert in the field, will be giving a short talk describing the history behind this marvelous technology. There is also a workshop for students aged 13 to 19, where they can assemble their own radio transmitter. It will be a good opportunity to learn a few basic principles of electronic engineering. Number 74. Where is the introduction taking place? Number 75. Who is George Butler? Number 76. What is offered for teenage students? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Attention all conference attendees. Due to the late arrival of a shipment of food, the conference center cafeteria will not be able to serve lunch this afternoon. We apologize for this inconvenience. We'll be issuing meal vouchers that can be used at any restaurant in the surrounding neighborhood. Please be back in the conference center by 1 p.m. in time for Janet Wallace's presentation on how to use the new client management software. Number 77. What has caused the change in plans? Number 78. What will listeners receive? Number 79. What will begin at 1 p.m.? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hello everyone. Welcome to the planning committee which is in charge of overseeing the construction of a new elementary school here in Eagleton. I'm looking for someone to volunteer as the note-taker during this meeting. His or her duty will be to keep track of what is debated. After this meeting, you'll need to send a summary of it to all attendees. In order to perform this duty, he or she needs to be a detailed listener. But for now, I would like you to give personal introductions. That way, we can get to know each other better. Number 80. What is the purpose of the planning committee? Number 81. What does the volunteer need to do? Number 82. What will listeners do next?
Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hi everyone, let's start the weekly work meeting. Firstly, I want you to know that I've hired five more staff for the main factory room. I know that you are all overworked. I'm trying hard to push for funding to get two more people in over the next few months. The new staff will be here on Monday morning, so I want everyone to go out of their way to train them as quickly as possible. To do this efficiently, I'm going to have each of you train the new staff in a particular section of the factory. Please prepare some instructions and email them to me so I can double check them. Number 83. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 84. What does the woman mean when she says, I know that you are all overworked. Number 85. What task does the speaker assign to the listeners? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. I appreciate the number of people who have attended the Westbridge Film Festival this evening. I hope that all the films have been enjoyable so far. The next film we are going to show is particularly special. The film is called Beyond the Blue and is the debut release from the documentary filmmaker Michael Harris. The film captures the deepest parts of the ocean and explores the complex ecosystems that exist in the areas of the ocean that humans cannot survive in. The film has already been nominated for multiple awards, most recently at the BAPTA Film Festival. Remember, this is the first film Mr. Harris has made. After the film, Mr. Harris will come to the front for a short Q&A session. Anyway, please enjoy the show. Number 86. What is Beyond the Blue about? Number 87. Why does the speaker say, Remember, this is the first film Mr. Harris has made. Number 88. What is going to happen after the film? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. Well, it's only been one year since I took over the position of company president. Since then, our products have become the most sought-after watches in the world. Our unique designs, excellent price point, and promotional campaigns have proven to be miraculous. This has led to a lot of media attention. The worldwide CNU Business Channel wants to run a special story about our company next month. They are sending some reporters to interview me on Wednesday and take some video footage of our manufacturing process. You realize what this means. CNU is broadcasted globally and this could cause our business to grow even more. Number 89. According to the speaker, what has happened to the company in the last year? Number 90. What most likely are the CNU reporters doing on Wednesday? Number 91. Why does the man say, You realize what this means? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement and chart. Sam Salon is committed to helping aid the homeless. If you have been a resident of Freewater over the last year, you have surely noticed the pop-up salon on the corner of Cornwall Avenue and DuPont. This pop-up is not for hipsters, though. It's for the homeless. Sam's Salon has been volunteering to give the homeless in our community shampoos, shaves, and haircuts in order to help them get back on their feet. To further this effort, Sam's Salon is having a Saturday-only haircut special, where half of all sales will go to help the local homeless shelter. This is a great opportunity to show that you care, support a local business, and get a darn good haircut. 
Number 92. What is indicated in the article? Number 93. Look at the graphic. What is true about the benefit? Number 94. How much does Sam's Salon charge the homeless for a shampoo, shave, and a haircut? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt and chart from a meeting. Hello everyone and thank you for inviting me to speak with you all in this beautiful new conference room. Our newest line of office security systems is really impressive and I am sure it will meet your needs. We have developed four options to choose from. Let me just say that option one is by far the best value because of the backup system that we offer with this package. It is not as expensive as option four, but don't let that fool you. Option one still offers all of the security that your business could want. All of our options include state-of-the-art video surveillance, Option 4 is more expensive because we offer 365 days of archive data. After taking a tour of your facilities, I feel that this option would not be the best for your company. Number 95. Where does the talk most likely take place? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which option does the speaker recommend? Number 97. Why is option 4 more expensive than the others? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and letter. Hello everyone. I wanted to get you together to go over the recent successes in our customer service here at Millie's Diner. Millie's Diner is an institution here in Petersburg. And although we have always been complimented on our polite and timely service, the comments and tips we received over this long holiday weekend were extraordinary. I want to tell you all how proud I am of all of your hard work and dedication. It is my name on the sign but this is really your business. I have made a copy of a thank you letter that really touched my heart. We received it from a customer and I wanted to share it with you so you could all see exactly how hard work pays off. It moved me so much that I decided to give everyone who worked over the weekend an extra holiday bonus. You all are the best. Number 98 Who is speaking to the staff? Number 99. Look at the letter. What do you think Millie's Diner prides itself on? Number 100. What effect did Jerome's letter have?